what's up guys welcome back to my channel this weekend we are heading to Auckland for my mother-in-law's birthday and we only we're actually flying and we only have carry-on luggage um, each Aramis will obviously be sitting on my lap um, but me Hugo and Theodora will all have carry-on which I think is seven kilos so I thought I have to make a list and pack for everyone <laughs> because I'm a control freak and I just obviously can't let the kids do it themselves. But um, I'm going to pack for Hugo as well, just because I know that he'll that way he'll have everything he needs. Anyway, so I thought what I would do is I would film a pack with me video. Okay, so as far as I know, um, when you're flying in New Zealand domestic, maybe even international, but I don't know. Anyway. As far as I know, when you're flying in New Zealand domestically, you can have your seven kilo carry-on plus personal, like a handbag, I'm hoping. So, that's all cool. Now, because Aramis doesn't have his own carry-on because he won't have his own seat, um, it's probably best, I'm just thinking out loud here, this is, oh. it'll be best for him to share a bag with Hugo because let's face it Hugo's gonna take a t-shirt a pair of shorts whatever we are packing for two nights so we're staying Saturday night Sunday night flying back Monday morning so yeah as always I've got my packing lists here so let's get into it um where I struggle with packing light I just don't even know if I have it in if the capacity to pack light but um, because it's spring here in New Zealand right now and Auckland weather is so unpredictable like you can get four seasons in one day and it's meant to be raining on Saturday but 19 degrees uh, if there's anyone watching this video that uses Fahrenheit this is what it is in Fahrenheit um, and then Sunday is meant to be raining but a little bit cooler so it's really a little bit tricky so I'll do my best to pack as lightly as I can because I need to so I'm gonna take this carry-on it's nice and it's like an overnight bag uh, it used to be my gym bag I think but anyway that's besides the point I'm gonna take this bag as my carry-on um, Theodora I'm just gonna pack her backpack her daycare backpack and then for Hugo and Aramis, I'm not sure. Okay, so the plan is on we fly up to Auckland um, on Saturday morning, and then we have my mother-in-law's birthday lunch Saturday at like midday. So um, I'll probably dress the kids in their day clothes anyway. Like um, I'm probably going to just fly up in something like this, like a t-shirt and pants and sneakers, and then change into something while I'm there. And then on Sunday, we are planning to take it to the zoo. So that's two changes of clothes plus pajamas. And then on the Monday, they can just fly home in what they wore up on Saturday. So that's fine. And I'll show you what I've picked out for Aramis. So far, I was thinking... On Saturday morning he can just fly up it's because our flights are like 9 30 it's probably not gonna be too cold but it's not gonna be too warm so I have to find like a like a happy medium so I'm going to pack for him a bodysuit um, a jumper um, some socks and some leggings where are his little just some little comfy easy to move in leggings so that's his outfit so that won't have to be packed because he'll be wearing that and then he can just wear that all day um saturday for the zoo i've packed a jumper um some shorts like is that cute <laughs> patterns on patterns um some shorts and a t-shirt um, if it's like if it's not raining he can just wear like um, a bodysuit shorts and a t-shirt do all mums do this 
overthink what they pack. Like, I feel like if Dad's packed this, I'd just chuck a whole bunch of stuff in. But I overthink it because I like to have options because, like I said, the weather's unpredictable. But anyway, so yeah, if it's sunny or warm when we go to the zoo tomorrow, yeah, t-shirt, bodysuit, shorts. Um, option is um, he's got some leggings and a jumper. And I bought him, I'm going to pack, he'll probably wear these on the plane, but um, his little Puma sneakers. So that's one outfit. Now, sleeping on Saturday Saturday and Sunday. Again, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. But anyway, um, I don't know what the temperature is going to be like overnight up in Auckland. Um, probably similar to here. Um, but I just like to cover all bases in case it is, does get quite cold. So he'll have his wool babe sleeping bag. He's currently napping, so he's got that on. So I can't pack that just here, obviously. Um, I also have this padded bond wonder suit for him which keeps him so toasty at night and you can layer up underneath so usually with like um i've packed him a long sleeve bodysuit his padded wonder suit and i'll pack his sleeping bag as well so that he can wear that i've packed an extra short sleeve bodysuit as well just in case it's really cold which i don't think it will be and in case it's a little on the warmer side I've just packed a normal wonder suit for him and I just a thin long sleeve bodysuit so I've got a couple of op options there I can mix and match so that's pajamas sorted and then yeah like I said I'll just pack a spare pair of shorts for him and a spare t-shirt in case it's raining on Saturday, I might take his gum boots if he wants. To, if it's raining and we decide to go to the zoo and he wants to slosh around, I'll take those. But that is a that they're in the maybe pile. Those are in the maybe pile. And in addition to those things for Aramis, um, I'm going to obviously pack a couple of nappies for him. Um, he'll need to take his dummy, but he'll have that with him on the plane anyway. And I think. I think that's it um i do have to take white noise but we have a spare phone that i think we'll take um instead of like a white noise machine because that just seems a little bit ridiculous to take that so yeah that's aramis done i feel like we nailed the packing light for him so hopefully that's everything okay so packing for theodora is going to be a little bit tricky because she's nearly three and she's at that age where she wants to pick what she wants to wear and if she doesn't have all her options i'm not really sure how that's going to go it could be good it could be bad either way it will be so what i've packed um for her so flying up um saturday morning i've picked out a jumper um, a singlet and some leggings. Um, I feel like that's like again, same as Aramis. I feel like it's a it's a nice happy medium between warm and cold. And um, if she will let me, she's not so keen on these shoes, but um, she's got some white Converse shoes that she's wearing at daycare right now. So she'll either want to wear those or these. These need a good wash before we go anywhere in them. But her little Puma sneakers. So that's her traveling outfit so it's not going to be packed so that we don't have to count that in the bag the outfit i've picked out for her for saturday lunch is a jamie k knitted jumper um it is meant to be 19 degrees but rainy so it's probably going to be muggy but if it's not um she can wear that because it's quite cute um and she can either wear that with some shorts like how cute is that little outfit she can either wear that um, or she can wear it with her Jamie K leggings or she can wear the Jamie K leggings with um, a sleeve top or um, her favourite Louis t-shirt. How cute. <laughs> or I've packed just a spare t-shirt. So there's multiple options for her to choose from. Hopefully she picks one. So that's Saturday sorted. 
Saturday night, sleeping wise, I'll pack her a couple of nappies. She is um, completely potty trained during the day. Um, she just has one overnight nappy. I'm just going to pack her um, just a Bonds Wonder suit. She's a really hot sleeper, so she doesn't need much. Um, she will more than likely be in bed with me, I would say, because it's a new environment. Um, yeah, so she'll be nice and warm in just her Bonds Wonder suit. And then just some spare things. So I bought her a spare singlet. The spare t-shirts that I've shown you before, spare pair of leggings, and a spare jumper. So that might be pushing it for her backpack. So that's Theodora done. Okay, now the easiest person in the world to pack for is obviously going to be Hugo because he's going to pack a shirt, a jumper, sorry, two t-shirts, a jumper, a pair of shorts, boxes, socks, and shoes, and he'll be wearing his shoes and his jumper, I, I assume. <clears throat> so, stuff I've packed for my biggest child, aka my husband. So I've picked out a grey ASOS t-shirt. These t-shirts, ASOS? AS Colour t-shirts. They're such nice t-shirts, honestly. So, a nice grey mall, um, and he can decide what one. Obviously, he can decide for himself what ones he wants to wear. So a grey male and this really lovely dark forest green. Um, denim shorts. Um, a His black hoodie. Because again, it could be warm, it could be cold, but black, he runs hot like Theodora. So black hoodie, um, socks, boxes and singlets. And then his shoes. That's him. Done. All right. And obviously... Or arguably the hardest person to pack for me we've left till last so let's have a look um like i said i might just wear this um or something similar probably this and some like shorts and my sneakers now the shoes that i want to wear to the party on saturday are quite heavy um they are my platform leopard print converse so i'll probably wear those on the plane so i don't have to pack them and saturday lunch mm, i could either wear my purple gingham lullaby club dress like i love contrasting patterns like purple gingham and leopard print like kind of could be kind of cool but unsure um what i did have in mind to wear was where are you was this black simple glassons dress it's just simple it's got a tie waist the only thing is i can't feed in it easily but aramis should be asleep most of the day and if i do need to feed him i can just go away so i did envision wearing that with my leopard print chucks and my oversized denim jacket I wore this outfit out um, to my sister's birthday lunch and it was super comfy um, but flattering because it has the, the tie waist and then um, kind of like casual cool with the converse the leopard print converse and then again at the zoo on Saturday I just have to find something like I might do I could do like my linen my white linen shirt with leggings oh then if it's hot see this is where i get confused this is where i get really confused about how to pack and i can't pack lightly because of this um mm. BRB, let me have a think. I can't catch a break with filming at the moment. Like, every day that I try and film, I'll put Aramis down for a sleep and he'll wake up early from his nap. So I'm just going to leave him for five minutes to see if he settles himself. So if you hear him crying in the background, don't worry. I'm not a neglectful mother. I'm just seeing if he'll self-settle. So I've decided what I'm going to wear. Um, I've decided, obviously, to wear my black chucks, uh, my leopard print chucks on the plane. Um, I'll wear my oversized denim jacket on the plane as well because those are like the two heaviest items. And I'll just wear like this with some um, black 
leggings. <clears throat> on on Saturday, I for the lunch I've decided to wear black um, tie waisted dress with oversized denim jacket and the leopard print shoes. And then Sunday for the zoo, um, I just thought a plain black oversized t-shirt and plain black shorts with the leopard print shoes and the denim jacket. Again, it's gonna be the easiest option. And then I've bought, if it's cold, um, my navy blue leggings. Should be able to mix and match easily enough in that, I really hope. <laughs> this is what scares me about packing lightly, like no options. So yeah, I'll just pack my pajamas, bras, undies, blah, blah, blah. So that's me. Pretty much packed. I just need to pack um, toiletries, makeup, which again <sighs> scares me because I've got so many bits that I like to take with me. But I guess I can live without my skincare for two nights. <laughs> so I will show you what toiletries I pack. So I think I've managed to pack minimally again for skincare, toiletries, um, makeup, and all that. So I don't have a small cleanser to take, so I'm just going to take my Magic Minky because it um, takes off all your makeup, any imp impurities, um, and just leaves you feeling really nice and clean. So I'll take that in lieu of cleanser because I have to. Um, it's retinol all night while I'm away, so I'm going to take my retinol with me. Um, and then just my very useful face cream because and then I will take my ordinary buffet serum I can just I usually take like my thermal water but that's a bit excessive so I'll just damp my face with tap water and use that and then obviously my SPF absolute must um, deodorant uh, or body moisturizer I think I might just take my Walida citrus body moisturizer because it's nearly empty so it's nice and light um, Hair brush, I'll obviously take hair ties with me. I'll probably just wear my hair like this, let's be honest. I did have plans to like curl it, but I just don't think I'm, I'm just gonna have to like lower my expectations and be totally realistic. Um, and then again, kids' toothbrushes and toothpaste, um, and toothbrushes and toothpaste for mum and dad. And that's it for toiletries um, for me and the kids and for Hugo and whatnot. And then in terms of makeup, I'm actually really proud of myself for packing so minimally. So I'm just going to take my beauty sponge. Um, I'm going to take my, this seems a little bit overkill, but I'm going to wear my Mac Studio Fix on Saturday. Um, and then at the zoo, I'll probably wear my Bare Minerals Rescue Complexion because I don't really want to be wearing a full face of makeup at the zoo may not even wear makeup to the zoo but we'll see um my off-duty sticks by mecca um i'm not going to take a bronzer which scares me but that just seems ridiculous um eyebrow products um eyelash products <laughs> mascara some highlighter um a little sample of the laura mercier pure canvas primer and then my lip liner and lipstick and that's it for makeup so hopefully I can make my face look okay <laughs> with those products. That gave me such a fright. <laughs> it's just Aramis and his cop playing that I thought someone knocked on the door. Like, and I wasn't expecting anyone. Anyway. So that's that. So yeah, that's all our stuff that we're going to take with us. I'm um, actually looks okay. I'm actually quite proud that I managed to pack or like at least attempt to pack lightly. Okay, so I think I'm just going to sign off here. Um, thank you for packing with me and wish us luck and be sure to keep an eye out for 
for I'm going to film an Auckland like weekend away vlog so hopefully I can get that up and yeah like this video to let me know if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week bye